Hello everyone. I'm doing an, an update, quick update on the uh, watermelon challenge. I'm in uh, Canada Zone 4. Uh, this is the, the watermelon that I'm uh, trying to get as big as possible. Uh, what I did, I just put a kind of like a little low tunnel, just a square section where I put a black plastic pot with large holes on the bottom and the melon plants planted right there. This is also to absorb at the beginning of the season the heat uh, from the sun so that the watermelon plant can start growing right away. As you can see, there's also a dandelion here. You can see how big and happy it is in this pot. I did also add uh, a, there, let's me see. But there you can start to see it. the heat cables. This was to prevent uh, uh, frost damage at the beginning of the season. Here in June, we still uh, can get frost. Uh, this year, I actually went to a minus eight. I think the first of June or the second. So it was uh, pretty disappointing, uh, disappointing. But uh, this melon was fine. It was still uh, small and uh, it, it never had like uh, any major damage i left only one fruit per plant the plant is obviously to cover this uh, let's say four by four square and then it's coming all the way up towards right here so it's like 12 feet is uh, spreading out um, it's not a big deal because i know that this melon the vine comes almost directly from the plant so if i really need to completely close seal this area i'm probably just gonna prune the melon maybe a foot fold them and and, and leave them there but i'm pretty sure we are close to uh, ripeness this is an uh, alibaba it's the first time i grow this variety so i don't really know how to tell uh, when it's ripe, so most probably my guess is that I'm gonna wait a bit longer. Um, the tendrils are brown. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. Even the, the little uh, uh, leaflets. It's right there. I don't know if I can show you, but anyway, it's brown. So all the signs looks good. The, the stem. You can see the stem start to have a bit of a uh, drying, but uh, let's wait this thing. I don't want to obviously take it out, so I brought a little scale. Is it at zero? Let me see. There you go. Now is it zero? Um, how I can do that? Let me see if I can. I'll try to put the camera down. So I'm sorry if the view is not perfect but i'm just gonna because i need my two hands to somehow slide let's see so let's do like this and put this oopsie Okay, let me see if I can show you. Sorry about that. There you go. So we have a little of a problem because it went off the scale. Because now I'm going to start to lift it. So it goes all the way around. So it's 5 kilos or like 11 pounds, 12 pounds. We get to 13 and it hit the bottom of the scale. So my guess is that it will go another half around so mm, let me think i think we are close to, to nine kilos 20 pounds but we'll see so this was the update i have to hold it just to don't make it fall so it's looking nice and heavy i'll still wait probably couple of weeks before harvesting. I have uh, other variety of uh, watermelon that I grow on the roof 
uh, that you can see in the other videos, but those ones, they are not as big, so they're not really for the challenge. They're just the watermelon that I like to grow. So thanks for watching. Take care.